So today we're going to give you your first proper look at HitFilm. The interface has been designed and built completely from scratch. With HitFilm we've had a bigger team than on any of our previous projects and the interface guys have done a really amazing job. So I'm going to hand you over to Josh who's going to show you how it all works. Thank you Simon. Welcome to the HitFilm interface everyone. As you can see it's a massive departure from the lab products. This is because we have an excellent UI development team now. So everything we can think of they're able to do. The interface of a product is really important. With our previous software, there wasn't much customization available. With HitFilm, we've made it really flexible. All of these panels can be resized. You can scale in on the timelines. You can reorder tabs. You can even float a tab in a new panel, and that allows you to work over multiple monitors really easily. Both versions of the software have multiple levels of undo and redo. HitFilm Ultimate actually has a history panel. This shows you all the operations you've performed, so you can jump back to a previous stage really quickly. Here we're looking at the edit and effects screen of the software. As the name suggests, this is where you do your editing and effects, so it's where you do most of your work. In future videos, we'll look at all these different panels, but today we're going to look at the timeline. There's actually two different timelines. At the moment, we have the editor, so let's get some footage. Here we go. And yeah, let's drag on this clip. We'll uh, crop the end a bit. Back on this one as well, crop the start. And then we can uh, do a transition. Here we go, cross dissolve, stick that on there. And as you can see, we've just got a cross dissolve in there. You have multiple tracks here, audio as well, something we've never had before in our software. So you've got audio, you've got video. You can see that the little previews are not showing up here on the clips for the audio and for the video. It's because we're running in a beta version of the software. New functionality is being added all the time. I've seen the audio working just last week, so that'll be in a beta very soon. The other timeline within the software is where we create our effects, or composite shots as we call them. So let's make a new composite shot. Let's add a clip to the timeline. As you can see, this layer can be cascaded down. This is much more like Vision Lab or After Effects or any layer-based compositor. This is a timeline where you would do your keyframing and animation. It's also where you would add masks, effects, and transform the image. So, for instance, do some scale, rotate. You can also do this in 3D, but we'll cover that in another video. At the moment, let's just add some effects. So let's grab color correction. We'll drop that down. As you can see, it has a bunch of properties that you can edit directly here on the timeline. But in some cases, you get much richer controls if you go to the controls panel. And here you can see color wheels. So uh, let's play with these. I'll probably do something absolutely terrible now. Well, that looks a little bit more stark. But I think uh, for that real Top Gear look, let's add a vignette as well. Drag that on as well. Oh, the settings are all wrong there. So uh, let's increase the width, make it a bit softer. Make it a bit wider. Okay, that looks great. And uh, now if we just play through it, you can see it's all going in real time on the GPU. It's very, very quick. We hope you've enjoyed this quick look at the timelines within the software. Obviously, there is tons more to show you, and it's really important to us that you ask those questions online so we know what to answer in future videos. Thanks for watching.